Hi, my name is Margo. Thank you for clicking on this video. Um, I don't really know how to start these. This is like my second time doing a voiceover. Uh, so it's kind of kind of awkward to start. Um, anyways, this is uh, a speed draw for one of my more recent drawings. Um, uh, featuring my Hank Sona, technically, I guess. Uh, Gaunk, who we will talk about in a bit. Um, uh, mainly I want to, like, address, like, what I'm doing uh, process-wise. Um, so, right now, uh, I'm doing the, uh, final sketch, I, I believe. So, I have, like, three sketching layers. You can kind of see it if you squint a little. You can see my rough sketch, which is, like, me getting my basic idea out. And the blue, the blue line you just saw, that's like my cleanup of that. And what you're seeing now is my final sketch with my base colors, which end up being used in the uh, final product. So I don't like figuring out my colors like as I go along. Um, I find it's really difficult, so it's easier to do it this way. So I like have everything like figured out already. Um, as for why this drawing was made, I honestly, it's... There's no reason. I just wanted to draw, like, a bunch of stuff. I wanted to draw, like, a pretty background. Uh, a cute girl. Boobs. <laughs> um, I just wanted to draw something for me, and this was it. Um, so... Uh, I drew this as, like, a reward for, like, being so productive, uh, during the month of June... Or July, I mean. Because that's what, that's what, uh, that's when this was made. July 31st. So, um, now, uh, I'm doing the, uh, line art. It's pretty generic, pretty basic. I use a, uh, vector layer to make it faster, and I take advantage of, uh, the symmetry tool. The symmetry tool. Yeah. So, um, what you're, what you're seeing now, it, it's, uh, my Clip Studio footage, but, um, it'll switch to, like, uh, the real-time footage, you'll, you'll see after I'm done. I, I didn't plan this video out at all, which is why uh, the uh, real-time footage starts so late after I'm done shading the uh, skin. Uh, initially, I just wanted to record myself doing the like little cheek squiggles for my friend, but it ended up like um, going further than that. I just kept recording. Uh, so here... I'm uh, masking off the uh, different parts. So I I've mainly do all of my shading on one layer. I, I keep it very loose, and so I, I mask the... Oh, see? <laughs> uh, I mask the uh, parts off so I can erase like the messy parts later, if that makes sense. You'll, you'll see. Um, anyways, this is my, my Hank Sona. Gaunk. Uh... <laughs> Technically, Gal Hank would be more accurate, but I like calling her Gaunk because I think that's really funny. It's fun to say. Um, I, I didn't, I didn't really like intend to make her a Hank Sona. It just sort of happened. Uh, I, I just looked at Hank one day and I was like, man, this character is not fun to draw. <laughs> I've got to do something, and. The uh, equivalent of fun for me, making a character fun to draw, is just putting them in like cute outfits. And that's what I did here. Uh, but I ended up loving this character so much. Or, not character. I loved this variation of Hank so much that she eventually just morphed into my Hank Sona. I, I love drawing her. Um, so... I, uh, I posted this drawing on Twitter, and <laughs> there was this, there was this one comment, someone, someone called her Hannah J. Wimbledon, and I thought that was the cutest name ever. Unfortunately, though, it does not end in ank, so I will not go with it, but <laughs> it's, I really wanted to mention that, because I, I think that is a very, very cute name. Um, oh, I guess I should talk about a, uh, a little bit about Gaunt's personality compared to, like, Hank. Um, I don't, I don't like straying too far from canon, I guess. So, 
She still has all of her Hank instincts, I guess. <laughs> she likes killing dudes. She likes blenders. Probably likes eating dudes. Uh, the only thing unique about Galk is that she likes pretty dresses and stuff like that. She likes frills. And you know what? That's great. Good for her. Um, while, while, I, while I still have it in mind, real quick. Uh, about the uh, line art, usually I use a really dark, cold color for my line, out, line art, but here I'm doing it with a um, lighter or warmer color. Uh, I saw an artist do this where their line art was like a warm color, but the rest of their colors were like really cold, and I thought it looked really cool. Unfortunately, I this is like my first time doing that, so I didn't like know how to. Um, how to make it look good. So, as much as I wanted to keep the uh, warm line art, I ended up um, making it darker towards the very end, which is, which in hindsight, I'm really sad that I did that because I feel like, I feel like I just drawing like would have looked better with warmer line art. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We'll keep going. Um, So yeah, uh, about my Hank Sona, <laughs> uh, this isn't scripted or anything. I like, I don't know. I didn't have like enough to like say to warrant a script, but I do have bullet points because I tried, I, I've tried recording this like off the cuff multiple times and they all failed because I am overwhelmed by how, how long this video is. So it was kind of difficult for me to like, talk long enough you know i don't need to talk for like the full 20 20 ish 24 minutes but i don't like having dead air you know so um the reason i'm doing these voiceovers is to like get better at uh talking in general without like having anyone to bounce off of because i feel like that's like a huge crutch i i have with my uh, social skills and uh, initially, this video would have been done sooner, but I kept getting like frustrated each time I tried to do the voiceover and it would fail. So I, I just gave up. And now it's August 31st as of, as of recording. Uh, and I feel, like, I feel like this might be the one. I've cooled off. I'm level-headed now. I feel like I can do it. Um, so I think at the start, uh, I, I just realized I, like, mentioned more stuff about Hank Sonas, but I, like, <laughs> dropped that. I don't remember what I was going to say about that. <laughs> Anyways, I mentioned at the start, this is my second time, I think, doing a voiceover. Uh, the first video, it's up, but it's, um, privated. I, I don't like that video very much because I feel like, I feel like I, I stumble a lot. I ramble a lot. I sound nervous as hell, and I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> so it's privated, but maybe one day I'll, I'll release it. Um, now the reason this video is so long, I felt like my problem with the uh, first video is that I had way too little time. I, I kept getting distracted by everything. Had no bullet points, no nothing. I just, I just did it, and I feel like it shows. Um, so I wanted this time to be better, but how, however, I don't know how I did it, but the uh, Clip Studio file, the Clip Studio time-lapse file, it's the same length as the uh, aforementioned video. Uh, both are somehow f 7 minutes and 47 seconds. I don't know how I did that. So uh, I combined, I combined uh, the real-time footage with the uh, Clip Studio time-lapse to, like, give myself more time, but I feel like, I feel like I gave myself too much time, you know? Um, anyways, I feel like with my, with the first voiceover, I really didn't want to use a script or bullet points. I just wanted to like go at it because I thought that would be really easy, but it turns out it's harder to like talk without a script or anything than it is to like make a script. Um, Eventually, I think I would like to start scripting these videos just so I have like direction to follow. But right now, uh, this is like practice, you know? I don't know. 
All I say is I know and then follow it up with I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so um, I think I've gone through all of my uh, bullet points that I that I made for uh, this video. Um, oh, so um, I made a, a thread, a little mini thread about, uh, um, I guess, other Madness <laughs> Combat Sonas. I don't like calling them that because these are not my characters. Um, but uh, I thought about making like other Yaru versions of uh, the status quo guys. So like other characters that go with Hank. So there's Gaunk. Uh, I want to do demos, but like the issue I had with that is finding um, the uh, proper subculture to like do for them, you know? Because you could draw them in like frilly dresses all day long and that would be fun. <laughs> that would be great. But I like, like I said about like straying too far from canon, I like want to like put them in something that I think they would enjoy wearing, you know? So like, again, you can, you can put Deimos in like a Gaunk's outfit, for example. But for me, I like, I want to like think about like functionality and if that's something Deimos himself would like enjoy because like yeah I can I can draw him wearing whatever I want but like I want to like keep it in character you know like can he run around in that can he can he jump around and shoot guns in that if the answer is no then I do not think it's something he would enjoy wearing and you know while I think it's like important to like have fun with my own art I want my art to like since I'm posting it to public uh, platforms. I want my art to be fun for like everyone else. And I think uh, the fun of making these like coming up with these uh, unique outfits, I guess. I don't I don't really know how to ex how to word it. Uh, I think the fun with them is like when they're in canon and you can actually imagine you can actually see the characters doing that and like or wearing that in this case and like uh, their original source media. And I think that's, like, what I want to do with my, like, fan work as um, a Madness Combat artist now. <laughs> like, I, I want to have fun and I want to I wanna keep it in character because that's what I find fun. And I think that's how I, I think that's how I invite other people in on the fun, you know? So, um... Uh... But yeah, like I was saying with, like, accuracy when it comes to, like, subtypes, I think Sanford and Deimos would wear, like, pretty much, like, almost the exact same thing, and that's because I don't know what to do for Sanford. Because, like, <laughs> he's, he's shirtless most of the time. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> and if he's not shirtless, he's, like, typically portrayed wearing, like, a, t a tank top. What do I do with that? How do I, how do I yassify that? I don't, I don't figure something out, but I think it's like, that's another thing. I think it's like unfortunate, like the lack of Sanford stuff I see. And, and like, it could just be me not like looking hard enough. But like whenever I look anywhere on any website for like Madness Combat Art, the like ratio of Deimos stuff compared to like any other character. But for some reason, I see it the most with Sanford. Uh, the ratio is astronomically different and it makes me so sad because all of the other madness combat characters I, f I like them and i think they all deserve like their time to shine you know i love deimos i love that little critter but oh my god he he's he's overrated <laughs> like i think i think the like hmm and you know that's not to say like overrated equals bad no no Overrated just means overrated. I think, um, I think Deimos, uh, back when the uh, plushies were selling, I think that's that showed showcased what I mean like the most. Um, so I I bought I bought the Deimos plushie, and according to his tag, there's like four thousand of those those little shits out there in the world. Um, and I think second highest is Sanford. It's it's ridiculous because I don't even think like. The Hank plushie had that many sales during it, uh, its first launch. I don't even, I don't even know if the Tricky had that many either. They just like, 
I don't know. I don't know what's so special about Deimos. <laughs> Again, I love Deimos. But he... He's not... He's not all that. He dies. <laughs> Canonically. Sanford does it. But yeah, like... I don't know. It feels like... Hank's the main character, but it, it feels like... It's Deimos' world, you know? At least when it comes like, to the fan community. Anyways. Enough of that. Uh, here, I'm doing the hair... Um, back to talking about the process. <laughs> uh, I start with white, uh, white and black to, like, shade. Um, and I find it easier to do that, because, like, I, I can start with, like, the initial shade. I can use the shading color that I used in the uh, sketch, but, uh, what happens, what happens sometimes when I do it like that? I find that I don't like the color, or I think it's, like, too weak, too, too, too mute, I don't know. Uh, so I start in black, and I, I use the uh, layer effects to change the color of it at, at a whim. So, um, if I use, like, a different color, uh, when I turn on this, this layer effect, it would, it would be, um, a, br a lighter color than what I need it to be, and that would be an issue. So that's why I use black, because black's, like, the darkest color. And when I do it, when I do this method, it's the most accurate color, if, uh, that makes sense. And also, rather than, like, drawing each and every individual strand, uh, I, I realize, I realize I suck at that. So, um, I use the smudge tool because it's easier. <laughs> um, and here, I, like, like, lately my, my ability to shade hair has been real, it's been, it's been great, it's been smooth. Uh, I, I restart the hair less often now that I use the smudge tool rather than freehanding it. Um, so yeah, I recommend it. Uh, for the, uh, hair shadow shading, whatever. I, I keep it to, like, two layers, uh, for shading. So the first layer, or no, three technically, because I do, like, the gradient. Uh, and then I do the first, sh the first patch of, sh uh, shadows. And then I do this for the darker hairs. Um, I don't know if I do it in this one, but sometimes I do, like, a third layer for reflective light. And here, here, this is my least favorite part of doing here. I hate doing highlights because I, I feel like I always like, I don't know. It feels so like unnecessarily hard to like get it right and align with everything. But yeah, I do this too. Uh, I do the uh, black to white method or black to color method too. Just again for simplicity it's easier to like adjust the colors and it's also e i i also like um use the uh white to like work as an eraser so i get that nice that nice clean fade that nice transition from like white to regular hair color um because i don't i don't like having like harsh shadow or harsh lighting when it comes to hair because hair soft and most of the time, I don't put it in, like, dramatic situations. Um. So, I think with this, uh, the rendering part is pretty much done. Oh, I do do the, uh, reflective light, sort of. But yeah, with this done, it's onto the background. Um, so, for this... This drawing, uh, I plan on doing like a shortened time lapse speech, uh, speed paint for it for like Instagram reels and TikTok and all that. Uh, so in case you don't want to hear me like ramble a whole bunch, uh, and talk my head off for like 20 minutes, you can go to that. But I will say, uh, it's heavily edited. You will not see all of my, all of my mistakes like you are here. And one thing, another reason why I do the like masking part that you saw in the uh, beginning another reason why i do that is to uh ease the uh, flashing on on the uh tiktok videos um so yeah <laughs> uh i initially did not plan on giving her nails i or no i did but i like didn't sketch them for some reason because i wanted to give her like decora nails but at this point i i worked on this for like Five hours straight. I'm not even gonna lie. I definitely should have taken a break, but I didn't. Because I, I guess I 
like torturing myself and I really need to stop doing that because I, I feel exhaust I felt exhausted at the uh, when I was finished with this like I love this drawing it's one of my favorites um, that I've done but uh, I felt terrible after doing this so absolutely I need to like work on better habits um, and since I like spent so long working on this there were a bunch of tiny details that I had planned in my mind that I ended up not completing or not not adding because I was just so f I was so done <laughs> and I want to I want to stop cutting corners like that um here I am cleaning up the aligner I'm darkening it unfortunately it's so like I said at the, again at the beginning I wanted to have more warm line art but I ended up darkening it and here I add her scars because uh they run the risk of, like, in case I, like, end up, like, not liking how I render the skin, they run the risk of, like, getting covered up and forgotten. So that's why I do them at the very end. And here's the uh, time-lapse footage again, because I struggled so hard with this blood splatter. <laughs> I it, it was just not working. It was having it. And the real-time footage for this added, like, 20 extra minutes onto the video, video. Either 20 or 15, and that's that's ridiculous. And I, I refuse, I just refuse to like put you guys through that. And I refuse to talk over that because it's embarrassing. So here is all of my like suffering shortened. There were a couple iterations of the uh, blood splatter that I liked but didn't go with. And I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of sad it ended up that way. Like well, what I have, I think it's passable. But like compared to like a couple of these, it definitely could have been better. Um, Another thing I... I wanted to add like little strawberries. You'll see them soon, but they they also were just not happening how I wanted them to. Uh, event un unlike the uh, Decora nails, they made it in to the uh, final product. But I I don't like how I did that. Oh oh this. <laughs> so I came up with the uh, text from a Tommy February song, and I I went with it because I noticed I could make the little pun. Uh, initial at this point, when I came up with the uh, text, I initially planned for Sanford and Deimos to survive long enough to be in the final cut, but they didn't. So, uh, and I didn't feel like drawing Doc, so <laughs> I wanted to like include him in some way. But ultimately, neither of them, none of them, made it into the uh, final. Uh, so once I'm done with these strawberries, the uh, video is pretty much done. Uh, and with that. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening to me ramble. I, I might see you again later. Bye-bye. <laughs>